Now it's time to take a look at what the Raspberry Pi camera module can really do. And the way we're going to go about this is that I created a series of scripts that we're going to run. We'll go through them and it gives a flavor for some of the capabilities of the camera module and hopefully these will be helpful and you can use these in projects that you may incorporate the Raspberry Pi camera module. So without further ado, let's get going. A bit of housekeeping rules before we get started. Make sure that there is a photos folder created in your home Pi downloads folder. And if you had followed along with some previous lectures, this was a step that we would have performed. But if you are just starting at this point in the course and you hadn't done any of the previous lectures, you want to navigate to the home Pi downloads folder and you can right click in here and create a new folder and call it photos. The reason that we're doing that is that all of the scripts that we're going to run store images or video in this folder. So you just want to make sure that it's there. So once that's done, let's navigate to where we downloaded the resources for the course. And we're going to go into the cameras folder, PyCam, and these will be the scripts that we'll be executing. So the very first script is the preview.py and that simply activates the camera. And let's open that in the Python IDE. And once this gets open here, we're going to do a quick code review before we execute the script. So we'll get some background as to what's going to happen. So first we import the Pi camera library and this has a lot of features and all the functionality that we need to interact programmatically with the Pi camera module. And also we import the time library. We've seen this before where we are able to introduce delays in our program. So initially at the beginning, we first set up the Pi camera and we do that by setting a variable camera is equal to and we instantiate the Pi camera object. So now that we have a reference to that object, we can proceed to execute the functions that are available to us. So we do a camera dot start preview. And what this is going to do, it's going to turn on the camera and display a preview of video of whatever the Raspberry Pi camera is seeing. And we are going to sleep for, this is 500 seconds, that's quite a long while. So let's uh, change this. I'm just going to put 10 seconds. So that's going to keep that preview up for 10 seconds. And then we call camera.stoppreview and that's just going to stop it. Now one point that I wanted to note is that when we're executing these scripts, you will not see it on my main screen because the output is sent to the HDMI port when we're ever doing a preview. So you'll see the main screen where we're running the script and I will include what was seen on the HDMI port in a separate portion of the video. So hopefully that explains that clarification. When you're running this, you can't access the preview via a VNC client. So that's just FYI. So now we're going to execute this script and we're just going to click on the green arrow here. And as it's running, as you'll see, the camera is going to turn on and it's streaming in real time as the uh, code is being executed. It's going to do this for 10 seconds. And when it's done, it's going to shut off. So that essentially is how the start preview and stop preview methods of the Pi camera object work. And it just allows us to get a preview of what the camera is seeing. So very handy and very cool. And this can be used in your program to bring up a display of what your camera is seeing.